Hilton performed the role of King Richard in Robin Hood the Musical done by Simsbury Summer Theater for Youth where I was music director. And we were all surprised with his entrance at the power and authority of his speaking voice. It was not the natural television voice that you're used to. And what you don't know is the real reason he's leaving Hartford Television and going back to Oklahoma is to start his own theater company with him as principal actor. Sorry, Hilton, the secret's out. <laughs> this is a special day here at Channel 3. This is Hilton's last day. He's retiring after 24 years, and he's heading off to make a new life in Oklahoma. We just wanted to take a few moments to let him know how we feel. And Hilton, you've just been a dear friend and so much fun to work with. You'll never know how many lives you've touched uh, in your years here at, at Channel 3 and how many hearts you've touched. And we've talked so many times about your garden. And I really think that you have planted a garden of goodwill that will continue to grow and grow. And I wish you a gully wumper of happiness and good health in Oklahoma, Hilton. Thank you, Janine. Good luck. Thank you very much. Uh, Hilton, you know, I, you know, one thing that's always impressed me about Hilton is his passion for whatever he's involved in at the moment, whether it's out covering the tragedy in Oklahoma or a, a storm that's coming our way or, or getting involved in the telethon or any of the other civic uh, and charitable activities activities you're involved in, the passion you bring to it. And I think it's a great uh, standard that you've set for all of us in this business and anybody in the community out there to, uh, to aspire to uh, and, and get things done in the community, make a difference in people's lives. You certainly have made a difference in our lives. I'll never forget that audition. Uh, Hilton came here in 1974. I was working the news, anchoring with Bill Hansen, and you came in and just out of uh, Washington, D.C., but you had that Texas accent. And we talked about how I was uh, working mm -hmm. in Texas. That was my first job. And you're from West Texas. And, and I knew you were going to be a friend. And, and you haven't let any of us down. Well, thank, thank you God. so much, Hilton. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Hilton, we've uh, talked to the satellite companies, and you can get the Yankees games out there in Oklahoma, because you're going to be all set there. Maybe we'll get another World Series win for you. But uh, I've looked upon you to always get advice uh, in the business, and we've talked about the TV business many times. And uh, one thing I've talked to you about is there's a lot of people that can make you better broadcasters, but there's few people that make you better people. You're one of them. Thank you've you. made me a better person by working with you, and you've made everybody here in Connecticut much better for being a part of our lives. Joe I just want to say, Hilton, that it's been an honor and a pleasure to work with you. I was at the grocery store this morning, and a woman walked up to me and said, as they have been for the last however many months since we've known you were leaving, and says, is it true? Is it true? Is today really the last day? And I go, yeah. And she goes, but it's going to be sad at Channel 3. I go, it's sad for us. But it's really good for Hilton yeah. and his lovely wife Alma's over there and the boys because you're going someplace that you want to go. You're very happy. And I've been saying to people, celebrate with him. We're going to miss you because there's nobody around here like you. I wish you nothing but Thank the you. best. Thank you. Do you have something to say, dear? Yes, I do. Hilton, when you first, <laughs> <laughs> when you first moved here, uh, uh, when I first moved here from Michigan six years ago, you were very kind to me. In fact, I remember back then you gave me uh, this picture of you. Which, uh, As you often did. Which I've held on right. to, and now we're the fortune that you're retiring. Keeps in his wallet. <laughs> but seriously, over the years, that's a, a joke. Yeah. You've been a mentor and a friend. I've learned lessons from you that I will carry with me throughout my career, and I only wish you the best. You and Elmer are the greatest, and and we're losing a part of our family tonight. And he's also given everybody in the news from those uh, change of address yes, and phone I numbers. Did. So yes. when we call, don't say who are those people. Yeah. That's right, right. Well, I'll never forget you guys. We're going to spend some quality time here in this evening. I want to tell the viewers that I've really tried to give to the community because I think that's just a role of citizenship, but you have given back so much more than I ever could have given. So thank you very much, Connecticut. You've made it possible for me to live a very good life. Thank you. Congratulations, Helen. WFSB editorial. Winter will arrive on schedule. There'll be snow and sleet and icy winds, followed by a reviving springtime and splendid summer days. And fall will return with its glorious colors. But the weather in southern New England is about to undergo a major change. Hilton won't be telling us about it anymore. 
After nearly a quarter of a century here at Channel 3, Hilton Catterley is folding up his weather maps. The man who stayed up with you all night when a dangerous hurricane was heading your way, who was always with you for the heat waves and the floods and the blizzards, is retiring. Hilton has predicted his last gully womper. He's leaving Channel 3 weather in very good hands, but his weather colleagues will be the first to tell you it won't be quite the same without him. Those of us who know him best will miss him most. And though we'd never presume to speak for you, we're pretty sure you'll miss him too. I'm Paul Versiglio for Channel 3, and we'd like to hear from you.